Still checking in the place, still go. Moving in the way, no place, no snow. Straight chilling with my nigga. Alright, yo, what's going on guys? Angry Mouse here and today. I'm gonna show you a video on how to change your CID and your PSID for PSN patch. So first thing you wanna do is open up FileZilla, then you wanna connect to your PS3. Then for me, my PSN patch file is in here, in the hard drive games. And I think yours is gonna be the same, but for me it said PLJS. Then then you wanna go here. Then as you can see, these two files, you see psnpatch.config.config. You wanna copy that to your desktop, I already have it. And you want to copy the default config to your desktop then, then you want to open it with notepad you want to click on it click on both of them and i got no problem showing you guys my cid because it's a public cid i already shared it around in my cid video on how to unban your cid but as you can see both of them i don't have a psid so i just have a zero zero zeros and for my CID, you need to do this because when you spoof your PSID and your CID, it's gonna spoof the old one. The one is inside the PS3, the real one. And when you spoof it, it will spoof the old one that you're banned on if you got a brand new CID. So yeah, pretty much you need to do this and it's not gonna change, you know where it said real CID or whatever. It's not gonna change that because the real CID is inside the PS3, is in that chip for the PS uh, for the CID and PSID. It's inside that chip. So you cannot really change it. It's only gonna look like a file. It's, it's not gonna look like that. It's gonna say file and then the CID you have entered. So it will spoof the the CID you have entered and the old CID it will spoof it and also the PSID so after that you wanna click save for me I already did it so you wanna click save save open up your filezilla and oh yeah my bad I did not tell you how to find your PSN patch file so you wanna go to your PS3 start up your PS3 and from there you wanna go to PSN patch you wanna click triangle on it then then go all the way to check and you know that check with a star next to it for me it was on the second line and it said this this is the file and i checked it because you want to click on desktop you see this picture click on it and i already have it over here it's not going to change this is the psn patch so that's it guys then then after that you drag and drop the new cid and i already done that so yeah guys i hope you enjoyed this video and if you did enjoy it please drop a like and we're already at 43 subscribers hopefully we can hit 50 subscribers in the end of this month it'll be crazy and for the 100 subscribers guys we are in a grind we climb in the ladder each day so i really appreciate it guys and i really love you guys that's why i'm making these tutorials non-stop since i started my channel every day i have been posting videos so if you appreciate it too drop a like and subscribe and leave a comment down below you know saying some good stuff and you know me guys i reply to almost every single comment so yeah guys that's pretty much it this is how you change your psid and your cid on psn patch so yeah guys